In a surprise and last-minute twist, a bill in Texas that would raise the minimum age to purchase a R-15-style semi-automatic rifles from 18 to 21 passed out of a House committee on Monday hours before a vital deadline. When two Republicans joined all of the Democrats on the committee to adopt the bill by an 8-5 vote, several Uvalde victims' relatives burst into sobs and cheers in the Capitol hearing room. I'm feeling very overwhelmed, very emotional, Kimberly Garcia said after the committee vote through tears. Amory Jo Garza, her 10-year-old daughter, was one of 19 fourth-grade students and two teachers slain on May 24, 2022 at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde. I was worried, but I know my daughter did it, and I know she's making a difference, and I'm proud of her. I'm sorry it's come to this, but I know she's always with me, and I'm not going to let anyone forget her, Garcia added. For months, relatives of the Uvalde victims have been lobbying lawmakers to adopt House Bill 2744, visiting the Capitol nearly every week during the parliamentary session to urge its passage and even waiting more than 13 hours to testify in favor of the bill during a committee hearing in April. Their unwavering campaign for lawmakers to approve gun control legislation has been met with resistance in a Republican-dominated legislature that has recently relaxed gun prohibitions. However, Monday's vote was a big triumph for the families. Rio Grande City Republican Rep. Ryan Gillen, who chairs the committee where the bill is pending, indicated as recently as 10 a.m. Monday that he did not want to bring the bill up for a vote because he did not believe it had the votes to succeed in the entire House. Gillen reversed his mind by 11 a.m. Monday, following an emotional protest and news conference by the Uvalde families and gun control campaigners. The Uvalde gunman legally obtained his R-15 style semi-automatic rifle just days after his 18th birthday after attempting unsuccessfully to obtain one before he was legally old enough under state law. While Monday's progress was a significant and unexpected step forward, the bill's future remains uncertain. Texas House Speaker Dade Fellon previously stated that he would be happy to allow a debate on the bill on the House floor, but he does not believe it has the numbers to succeed. Gov. Greg Abbott has stated that he feels the bill is illegal. On Monday, a spokesperson for the Speaker's office declined to comment on the bill's status, and a representative for the governor did not immediately respond to a request for comment. 